hello friends this is my first video uh, now in this video I am going to show you how to control the firing angle for track uh, in this uh, circuit we have used the uh, as you can see in, on the slide uh, we have used uh, a track BT136 and an opto oscillator track based opto oscillator uh, sorry uh, track based opto oscillator for isolating the power circuit from my microcontroller uh, in this we have used MOC3021 which is a track based opto isolator in this mm, uh, uh, in this firing angle control we have used the Atmega16 as a microcontroller uh, in this uh, we have used a, repre uh, a pulse voltage which is corresponding to a zero reference voltage uh, uh, getting into the interrupt zero pin of atmega 16 board and we have made the circuit as you can see uh, like uh, here we have a uh, power source uh, power source and here we have taken a register of 150 ohm register and then uh, it is getting into the pin number 6 and getting out of uh, pin number 4 then we have a register of 150 ohm getting into the gate uh, gate terminal of the track and from the track we have a load connected lamp uh, 100 volt 24 ohm resistance value and and here I have used uh, a circuit to change the firing angle uh, it is getting into the interrupt 1 pin uh, as you can see uh, and there if you change the this SPDT switch which is used to vary the um, varying the firing angle and thereby controlling the power of the circuit and now I am going to simulate this circuit for you and see how we can uh, change the firing angle now as you can see simulation is running and there this is my input voltage uh, this is in the channel A 20 volt uh, this is uh, I guess 50 volt peak to uh, 100 volt peak to peak and this is our uh, uh, pulse uh, firing pulse which is coming out of the port C bit, uh, bit 0 of the microcontroller and here we can see the output waveform of the track voltage of the load vo uh, voltage across the load and by changing this uh, switch we can vary the as you can shift uh, see uh, uh, the pulse is shifting and thereby we can control the power delivered to the load and this is how it is done and it is back to its original when once more as you can change instead of this SPDT switch we can also use a push button hope you have liked this video enjoy bye